Hi, this is Sergeant Skip Enge with World War II Armor. We're here today to talk about the Continental R975 engine and its installation on the M4A1 Sherman tank. This particular model happens to be a 76 version. This engine that you see behind me was developed as an aircraft engine. It has nine cylinders in a circular pattern. Because of that pattern, there are special challenges that go with this engine, one of which is called hydraulic lock. Because of this hydraulic lock, or the potential thereof, the lower cylinders, when the engine's not running, has the potential to gather oil. As uh, the engine's not running, the oil that's lubricating everything tends to settle in the bottom. Now, this in itself is not a problem, but if we go to start the engine and that oil is sitting uh, between the piston and the piston head, it can actually uh, create a situation where it overpressurizes the cylinder, and this can uh, bend a connecting rod. So, the procedure that we have for this is to hand crank the engine using a special handle that we're going to show you here in a moment to hand crank the engine through 50 turns of the hand crank. What this does is rotate the engine through two complete rotations. That way we get a compression stroke on each cylinder twice. By doing so, if we feel resistance, we know that there is hydraulic lock on one of the cylinders. If we do get hydraulic lock, it's a simple procedure. We just pull the spark plug off of that cylinder, continue hand cranking, and that will blow the oil out through the piston or the uh, spark plug port. We will uh, move the camera back a little bit. We'll bring some guys in to crank the engine for you so you can see what this looks like. Okay, what we're going to do now is show you how to hand crank the uh, Continental R975. Guys, you want to come on in and show them how it's done? Here's the handle that they're going to use, the cranking handle. It simply inserts into a gearbox in the accessory side of the engine and there's a gear reduction in there. You'll hear some clicking so he can only go in one direction. What he's going to do is apply 25 turns and he'll hand it off to the other tank crewman who will finish the 26 to 50. If he gets through this entire process without any total resistance, then we know that that engine does not have hydraulic lock. Okay, we're back. This is an M4A3 Sherman. You'll notice the exhaust arrangement is a little different than the previous tank we looked at. This tank actually has a Ford GAA V8 engine. This engine, because of being a V8 water-cooled, did not require the special handling prior to engine start or after shutdown. A little easier on the cruise, and it made the startup and shutdown process go by a little quicker.